Ketchikan, Alaska, the gateway to the Inside Passage, the salmon capital of the world, a native Alaskan historical site. Regardless of how you perceive Ketchikan, it's undeniably one of the most special and memorable cities in the state. Today, we're going to be taking a short and free tour throughout this wonderful city. Before we get started, my name is Felix, and if you enjoy this video, be sure to like and subscribe. Now, without further ado, let's get into the video. Upon getting onshore in the port, we first took a free shuttle up to the city park. The city park area is a quaint part of town, nearing the foothills of nearby mountains. This area also features the Totem Heritage Center, which pays homage to the area's native Alaskan roots, and it also has the Deer Mountain Hatchery, which is a great place to see young salmon hatchlings. Between these few attractions, one can spend a good amount of time simply soaking up the scenery and environment. Since this was a little bit closer to the edge of town, it was also quieter than much of the downtown region where most of the tourists were. Although the Ketchikan area is one of the larger ports in Alaska, with a regional population around 14,000, this number is almost matched on any single given day because of the cruise ship's import. But there is a reason why all the tourists seem to flock to one area, and that is the Ketchikan Creek. The creek on its own is an extremely spectacular region, but when it's salmon season, nothing beats the views here. And salmon season it was. Hundreds of thousands of salmon were making their way upstream, making for a spectacular view. A small waterfall at the start of the Married Man's Trail turned out to be one of the best viewing spots for these incredible fish as they struggled to make their way up the raging waters. Interestingly enough, there was a fish ladder that proved as an easier alternative, but the salmon seemed steadfast in going down their predetermined route. It was truly an incredible and awe-inspiring sight to see. The Married Man's Trail, named after the brothel culture of the city, and Creek Street are the most famous parts of the city, and for good reason. The elevated boardwalk is extremely photogenic and sits above a calmer part of the Ketchikan Creek. Its many colored stores and boutiques line the waters. Is it a little bit touristy? Yes, of course, but it's not something you want to miss when you're in town. Back in the town, we visited the Tongass National Forest Visitor Center. The whole area is surrounded by wonderful forests and hiking trails, and the Tongass is the definitive national forest that governs the area. In fact, at over 16 million acres, it's the largest national forest in the country. This museum features really fun and interactive exhibits, and it's a great visit if you have time in town. Because our ship was departing relatively early, we had to get back on board. The view leaving the port is really spectacular. While much of the northern inside passage is narrow fjords, which is, in all fairness, equally beautiful, the views out of Ketchikan are much more expansive and provide a great view of the region. That's all for the port of Ketchikan. If you found this video entertaining or helpful, be sure to like and subscribe, and if you would like to see more content on Alaskan cruise ports, be sure to watch my other videos, which will be linked in the cards. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.